Monkey Ray Tower, Shooter 233, holding short Alpha 74, I'm Shooter 233, Monkey Ray Tower, hold short of runway 10, full length. Hold short 10, 233. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is line up with this line right here, as you can see it outside. Now I'm going to use this black knob or power here, and I'm going to push it all the way in. All I'm going to do is push it all the way in. All right, the airplane is at full power and we're rolling. We are ready to take off in a few moments here. Once we get to 55, I'm looking at this air, airspeed indicator here. That's how I'm using it. Once I get to 55, I'm going to pull back on the yoke, just like this. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, and we're in the air. Just like that. All right, so we're in the air here. We're climbing, going up in the skies. I know you can feel it because I can. All right, now we're going to climb at 75 knots. All right, so I want to climb at that speed right there. And what I'm doing to get to that speed, I'm pitching the airplane either up or down, or I'm going up with the yoke, or I'm going down with the yoke. Or I'm going forward with the yoke, or I'm going down with the yoke. All right, he said to do a left downwind departure. A left downwind. 0233, wind 1706, fly runway heading runway 10, clear for takeoff. We're heading clear for takeoff, 10, shooter 233. That didn't apply to us, so they don't have to worry about it. It's just another guy taking off right now. So he said left downwind departure. That basically means I'm going to keep turning left in the traffic pattern, or the box pattern, for terms, and I'm going to keep turning left. I want to climb at 75 here because that's the best speed where I can get the most altitude or the most feet above the ground. All right. So basically, in order to climb at 75 knots, I need to use the yoke. I need to either go go forward with it or go back with it. But normally, if you're climbing, you're going to go back or pull it to, towards your chest. So you're going to pull it just enough, pull it just enough so you can get the airspeed you want. So if I pull it back too much, notice how my airspeed goes up too much. See that? I don't want that. So I need to push it forward a little bit some. Get that airspeed that I want. Just like that. Why don't you give it a try? Here again, I forgot to introduce myself. This is through Mike Echo, turn right on course to the West Practice area. Transition through Maxwell Class Delta is approved. Turn right on course South pra uh, West Practice area and transition through Maxwell Airspace. Three Mike Echo. Shooter 233, contact departure. All right, so basically he was just telling me I can turn uh, towards the practice area over there, and I can transition to uh, the military airspace just fine. He went ahead and did that for me. Such a nice guy of him. Um, so that's all he was telling me that I could uh, transition. I could head to the west practice area. Montgomery departure. Oh, yeah, I forgot to introduce myself. But basically I'm towards more... Um, uh, chief pilot of the Red Tail Scholarship Foundation, where we are geared towards increasing uh, the African American uh, pilot percentage in the aviation industry. All right, and today you're here with me, so I can teach you how to fly. I want more pilots out there just like me. That's the goal. All right, so what I'm doing, I'm at my altitude that I want to be at. I want to be at 2,500. So what I do is I pull the power to 23. All right, I'm pushing forward on the yoke so I can fly straight instead of up and down. I want to fly straight now. I want to fly straight. I don't want to fly up and down because I want to stay at this altitude. All right, in order to do that, I might have to use a little nose down trim. Delta 3, Mike Echo. Exit Montgomery Class Delta to the Northwest. Frequency change is approved. Frequency change approved. 3, Mike Echo. All right, so what he did right there was just tell me that uh, frequency change approved. And... I can talk to anybody, I can talk to the people at Prattville. All right, because that's where we're headed today. In a few moments. All right, so like I said, I can use this trim right here to help me out, so I don't have to use so much muscle, so much muscle right here to uh, pull, push forward on this yoke. Because look at it. if I did this, I'm climbing. I don't want that. I want to go. I want to go straight. In, I want to go straight in lower flight. I want to go straight. So so I don't have to use so much muscle. I ain't trying to get a workout today. Maybe tomorrow, but not today. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use a little nose down trim and put some trim in there for me uh, so I don't have to use so much pressure on the yoke. Kind of like autopilot.
Alright, or cruise in the car. Alright, so I'm gonna use a little bit more here. Alright, so how do I know that I'm flying straight and I'm not climbing or descending? Well, you guessed it. I'm gonna use the horizon. The horizon is where the sky meets the ground. Alright, basically all I'm gonna do is match this dashboard up with the horizon. That tells me if I'm climbing or not, because if I pull up, I can no longer see the horizon. The de it's covered up. But if I push it down a little bit, now I can see the horizon again. It's lined up with the with the uh, dashboard. If I go down, now I'm, I can see too much of the horizon. I'm pointing at the ground. So I know that I'm descending or I'm going down. All right? So I want to go back up so I get back to straight flight, straight and level flight. All right, also, I'm using altimeter right here to gauge my distance above the ground. All right, so you see this little knob right here? This one, that tells me how many thousands of feet I am. This tells me how many hundreds of feet I am. This one tells me how many tens of thousands of feet I am. So right now I'm at 2,800 feet. Whoa, I'm high. That's pretty high. But that's like a lot of people standing on top of each other, or a tall building, in other words. All right. So that's how I use that instrument. I want to use this instrument. I want to basically be imitating what I'm doing in the airplane. All right? So if I was to do a left turn, I'm going to say I'm doing a left turn. See my airplane turning left? That's my miniature airplane right there. All right? So that's how I'm using that instrument. I'm using this instrument to gauge how high I am. So if this needle goes up, that means I'm climbing. If this needle goes down, that means I'm descending. Or, if I'm, this needle goes up or it increases, that means I'm going up in the air. This needle, so like this, right there, that means I'm going up in the air. I'm climbing. But if I'm descending, or the needle goes down, that means I'm descending. I'm going down in the air, or down in the sky, just like that. Alright? Like I said before, the throttle, the black knob, controls my power setting. So if I want to have a lot of power, and I go, I go all the way in, just like that. If I want to have no power, I'm pulling it all the way back, just like that. All right. All right. So I'm, I'm gonna tell Prattville, I'm um, in the area, West Practice area, just so people can be alarmed and uh, aware, of where am I at, and if I know of any other traffic in the area. All right, so I'm going to give them a holler. I'm going to push this button right here to talk to them. All right, Bill, traffic says the 173 Mike Echo uh, headed towards this West Practice area at 2,500. Be doing some maneuvering, and I'll head back to do a landing. All right, Bill. All right, so basically I just told them I was in the West Practice area doing a little maneuvering, and then I'm headed back to do a landing at Prattville, and then I'm headed back to Montgomery. All right, so I thought... traffic, 9 Alpha Foxtrot is uh, 5 miles to the west, over flying midfield, left traffic, 1-8 weed. All right, so that doesn't apply. That's just some other guy not even close to Prattville right now. All right, so look, airspeed indicator, I told you how we use that. We use that for our speed. That's, this is our actually speed in the air right now, 100, about 95 knots. All right, we use this to tell us what our, our, our airplane is doing. It's just imitating what we're doing in the skies. This tells us how hot above the ground. I'm looking at it to see if it goes up or down. It tells me if I'm climbing or not. Using this. All right, so I'm using this to tell me if my turns are coordinated or not. All right. I'm using this to tell me what heading or what direction I'm flying to. All right. So that's the basics of how to use the instrument. Now let me tell you how to do like climbs and turns and all that good stuff that you want to know about so you can fly the airplane for yourself next time. Alright, so if I want to go up, what I'm going to do is, if I want to climb, I'm going to go full power all the way in. And I'm pitching the airplane up. Doesn't apply to us. So I'm going full power all the way in, I'm pitching the airplane up, aiming for that cloud out there. I'm going to pitch for 75, I'm going to do whatever I want to. To get to 75 knots, because that's my climbing speed. Alright? 
That's all I'm doing. I'm having full power in. I'm, I'm pulling back on the yoke. So I can get 75 knots. So I'm looking at the airspeed indicator. I'm doing the yoke. I'm touching the power. And I'm also looking at my altimeter here. I'm climbing all the way to 3,500. So that's, I'm at 3,200 right now. And the needle is increasing. That's what that means. I'm climbing. All right. And this tells me I have, I'm climbing too. It says I'm at a 10 degree pitch right now or a 10 degree climb. This tells me I'm headed west. I'm headed west right there. This is west. That's north. That's east. That's south. I'm headed west. I'm in the west practice area. Of course I'm heading west. All right. This tells me my turn, if the ball is in the center, that means my turn is coordinated or my climb is coordinated. So right now I'm coordinated. All right. So let's say I want to descend. I'm going to power all the way out. If I wanted to descend, I'm going to power all the way out. And I'm pitching the airplane down. Or I'm pushing forward on the airplane a little bit. Pushing forward on the yokes. All right, and look at it. The needle's going down, so it tells me if I'm descending or not. Right? So normally you don't want to put point the airplane all the way on the ground like that. You know, you just want to uh, point it just enough, like a three degree. Like three degrees of a downward pitch or a down pitch. So pick something out there and pitch towards that. Fly towards that. That's all you're doing. You want to have about a, a, a rate of about 95 to 100 knots. So you want to push forward on the yoke just enough to get you that airspeed right there. All right. So that's how you descend, basically. Or that's how you go down. So we went up. We went down. Guess what's next? Left and right. So what I'm going to do is go back. I'm going to go stop the descent or stop going down. And I have to go nose level with the rising. So match that dashboard back up. And I'm going to add power. So the black knob, I'm pushing it in. The 23. All right. All right. Now I'm going to teach you how to go left and right. So to go right, I'm going to just basically just turn the steering wheel to the right. Right, just like this. And so it's my airplane showing me that I'm turning to the right. That's all you have to do to turn right. Just like this. And you can see my ailerons on that side is pointed down, and this one's pointed up. That's how you know I'm turning right. And the ailerons just the wings on the left and the right. All right. Now I'm turning left, so I'm going to turn the airplane left by turning the yoke left or the steering wheel left. That aileron is pointed down, and that one's pointed up, as you can see out there. And that's how you turn left. So now I'm gonna uh, descend. I'm gonna go down some more because I wanna. I'm going to Prattville now. As we talk, I taught you how to climb. I taught you how to descend, or I taught you how to go up and down. I taught you how to go left and right. That's pretty much all you need to know to fly an airplane for the basics. Now we will teach you how to land. So I taught you how to take off. I taught you how to climb, descend, up, down. I taught you how to turn left and right. Now I'm gonna teach you how to land, and then we go to Prattville and get something to eat. So it's been a long day. But before all that, I'm going to keep my descent coming in. I'm going to be landing pretty soon. I'm going to listen to the weather at Prattville. So I can uh, see how it's looking over there. Weather observation. One, eight, two, one, Zulu, weather, wind, one, three, zero, at, five, visibility, one, zero, three, thousand. It was traffic section 118, it's clear to the south. Last call in the region. Prattville traffic, Scott 13592, departing runway 27 to the northeast, Prattville. Alright, so basically that guy was just telling us that he was departing uh, towards from runway 27. Uh, so I need to be looking out for him. So he's just giving us a traffic update telling us he was uh, departing the runway. All right, so I'm going to tell him that uh pushing power in because I want to stop the descent now because I'm at traffic pattern altitude. Uh, traffic pattern altitude is the altitude that you need to be at uh, when you're in the traffic pattern. Because if you're not at the traffic pattern altitude, and normally the bigger airplane or like the jets, they fly at a higher altitude. 
or sometimes a lower altitude. If we're not uh, that right, if we're not high altitude, then we can possibly uh, crash and run into them. All right, real traffic says the 173 Mike Echo maneuvering to enter the left uh, downwind for 27, Private Hill. Oh, you see? I went a little bit. Traffic going to pop a uh, two mile left base, runway 32 for the stop Greenville. Private Hill traffic, I've got you inside. We'll be departing to the north. Roger, we'll go. Three Mike Echo.